happy now. Okay. Who told the weather? Oh, he has. Yeah. <clears throat> Great thing. Paul and Denise. I think they picked it up. Yeah. I haven't seen anything down there as far as trash or they've been they didn't really hang around past that and be coming down saying something. I didn't see them maybe once in a while. That yeah. was it. The, the, the normal kids that were down there. So discuss a warranty article to stop the trustees from investing town cat reserve. So I guess the big thing right now is, you know, what we were discussing the other night about um, how to go about letting the public use right. the cook shack. Yeah. And what we want to do is set a set of ground rules for that. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so $50. 50 or do you think that's... That should be yeah, sufficient. Yeah. It's basically just to, just to make sure that they clean up. They yeah. clean up, then they get the. We also discussed, you know, the, the, the town was thinking about doing it for the town hall too. Right. Yeah. And asking for if they wanted to do a donation or something like that. I don't know if that's something we want to do right now, or. I, I think I'd just leave it open. Uh, the fifty be like that. Yeah. Fifty dollars would be refundable mm -hmm. if the place is left clean. So I think what it is is whoever is. You keep a set of keys. Yeah. I set of yeah. key, keep a set of keys. Yeah. And whoever is contacted, right. we can make arrangements. You meet at a certain time. Have your cash or check. Then right. you get the key. Yeah. You drop off the key the same way. You inspect it. If it's clean, we inspect right. it before. You see, inspect it after. Yep. So make sure everything is clean and everything else. If everything's up par, is your check back. Is your cash back? Right. You know, yep. I think that'll, that'll work. Um, I think we probably need to set a set of, uh, I don't know, you know, what we want used or not used. I don't know. 
country. It's not really that much. Right. It's basically free reign, you know. Yeah. Um, I think try to you know, keep the picnic tables underneath the, the overhead. Don't bring them down on the lawn or anything right. like that. Yeah. I don't think they want to pick them up. But if they do decorate, make sure the decorations are all picked up. Right. And we're all clean so after they get done. So yeah. Leave it the same way you found yeah. it. I think that's probably the big thing. And then it just goes from there. If we have any issues, I think in the future we can bring that up. But I think right. for now, um, it's for public use. Right. But I also think that uh, if somebody from out of town wants to use it, I think it should be a hundred dollars non-returnable. Uh, you think so? Yeah. I mean, we don't. They don't charge a fee. Do they charge a fee for the town hall? They never had anybody from out of town yeah, really ask, but that that was something that they also I mean, thought. We about. may we may have Dan, somebody from Danbury or things like that. I don't know whether we have anything but from Canaan. Right. The thing being is, yeah, they're from out of town, so they're not contributing to yeah, to they're the use to the use of it. So would we go that much? Uh, I would just. Yeah, well, they, does anybody else do it? Does Enfield or uh, Canaan do it? Yeah. Uh, what do they charge for out of town? Or Quite a bit. Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe take a look at that. Maybe contact them and find out what they use. Hundred dollars just sounds awful steep, but I suppose to use a hall. Yeah. To use a hall, hall, hall facilities. Like that. Yeah. That's cheap. Expensive. Yeah. So. Yeah, because you do have the rest of the, 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 the uh, outhouses. Right. The, the porta potties. You have to take care of those too. So. Right. Think about donations. Uh, right, right now, yeah. it's just you know, we can in the budget buy what we need uh, utensils to put down there. Um, you know that they can use them, so they'll have the basic necessities to use the grill, the fryers, things like that. Right. The fryers. Well, there's an, there's another issue that is probably going to rear its ugly head. What about liability? I don't know if they would be using the fry leaves. They're there. Right. You know, somebody sees those fryers, it's like, well, we'll bring some oil. What's the liability in there? I mean, is it is there something, I think that's something that ought to be talked to with the selectman to find out from the insurance company. Is that something that's going to rear its ugly head and say, wait a minute, we right. can't. Or yeah. do we have to find out the hard way? You know, right. Yeah. Do we protect ourselves now, or do we? No, we, I would rather protect ourselves. I now. would say let's. Yeah. That's something that we may want to bring up to the selectmen, right? Uh, to ask them, or just put it as a side note. Uh, when we, if we present this to the selectmen, this is what we'd like written up. But the question is, do we need some sort of a waiver? A yeah. waiver. You need to sign a waiver, right, in order to use this. That you know, if you use this and burn yourself in the grill, if somebody burns themselves using the fryer later, you know, right. It's not rocket science. I mean, you have the same, you could use the same things in your own home, but where it is town property and it is town equipment. Right. You know, I'm not saying that something's going to happen, but if it does, by no fault of ours, if they right. get hurt, I don't want to be have the town exactly. being held accountable for it. Yeah. So, um, so that's something that we really ought to think about. Um, the place is set up as far as fire extinguishers and stuff like that. We're, we right. we're state right. code that. We're yep. okay with electrical. So yep. that should be okay. Um, yeah. So I think a, the big thing is just writing something up that basically states, you know, this is what we expect. Right. You know, you're going to see it beforehand. You don't know any damages or anything else ahead of time and cleanliness ahead of time. And this is way ex we expect it when, you, when you're finished, you know, to be left the same way. If not, you're going to fall for sure. Do it, but I, I think I'd also have them uh, sign it. Uh, also, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you just so the same thing. Aware of if it's you do that with a, a, a waiver and a right, and a statement yes. of intent, you know, yeah. do it that way. So it's basically a piece of paperwork from the town that they they signed. That's yeah. so all. I think that's good. And it, it, I think doing it that way, it also covers anything that happens there. Somebody jumps off the big table, breaks their leg, whatever. Who knows? Right. You know. Somebody gets hurt on the premises. It's the same thing. We have the sign down the park. You know, you use right. this at your own risk. Yeah. So, I think 
having it having it a piece of paper doing that, I think it's probably smart. Yeah. I mean, they've never done anything down at the town hall, but it doesn't get used that much. I have a feeling this is probably going to get used a lot more. Yeah. Because of the fact that you can put, I mean, you can have a good sized party there, and, you know, have a lot of people in attendance and have everything taken care of. So. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, I think it's only wise to be just have the town cover themselves. Right. Okay. What else? Anything? Now we haven't been able to find anybody to come in yeah. <coughs> for the rabies clinics. Who was the vet that uh, lost them? Well, uh, last year we had uh, Upper Valley Humane Society uh, Enfield, uh -huh. and uh, we got nothing from them. We didn't get no thank you from them. They walked out of there with about five hundred dollars in their pocket for an hour's worth of work, and we got nothing. Really? I wasn't nice either by the time I got to the end, so. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scared them away. Um, I just, you know. Are there any other vets in the area that we use? Uh, yeah, I, have we tried contacting them, or are they, you know, were they just uh, having a bad day, or we were having a bad day, or? No, they were hard to work with from the very get-go. Really? Yeah. Because that was, what, one or two years ago. Yeah, we had the one from uh, before. Uh, New London. Okay. I've yeah, contacted them. They don't have enough people to take and do it. I contacted the one in Bristol. And they said the same thing. They don't have enough people to come over and do it. Uh, one in Canaan. I'm going to say, if we want to go there, it yeah. would be different. Well, that's not the way you so that means Right, but the thing being is, uh, there's a lot of people in town that wouldn't go and uh, travel that distance. Uh, to get their dogs uh, the rabies shot, so they end up going without getting the, the shot. shot, which isn't good. No, right. Well, they're going to have to pay whatever it is. So we're going to send fields around. What's the guy that's across from uh, high school? No, he won't. He won't go there. No. That limits, that limits us tremendously as to what we can get. Hmm. And there's no other humane society. A lot of them are going to be have the same problem. They just don't have the personnel to do a lot. Right, but then being it's all it takes is yeah, two people on there. That's mm -hmm. yeah. From yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Usually and, that's uh, like three. From mm -hmm. them. Yeah. And then we did all the paperwork and handle the money. And then they sold the money at the end of the uh, mm -hmm. the one hour session. And they got theirs. We got ours. And you done. Yeah. And then everybody was happy. Well, I mean, until we find something, we're not going to be able to do it. No, right. I mean, the only thing you can do is just do a registration. But Bonnie does that. Have you considered farm vets? You know, like livestock vets? Can they do that sort of thing? I don't know. They're already in the business and going to where the animals are. Yeah. But where would the, you find it? I'd because usually I think you see that. things fly. You might want to talk to them, see if they know of any vets. That may be worth just a phone call. To who? That's what's feed. Yep. Oh, okay. But uh, normally you, uh, like, uh, we had the uh, vet over in uh, New London. He did uh, all kinds of animals. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he retired. Yeah, he retired. And it's under new ownership. Uh, and they said the same thing. Yeah, no help. Uh, yeah. That's a good. That's a good point. Maybe we'll look yeah. into. Yeah, seems like it'd be up their alley if they do rabies vaccinations because it's already their mo. Mm -hmm. Right, traveling. Yeah. Down. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you know, if we yeah. we do all the paperwork, so we're just cattle. Uh, oh, uh, just a, a, yeah, a um, farm vet that, that may be interested in doing just rabies vaccination for dogs. Yeah. Like cats. the one we watch on TV. Right. Yeah. He goes out and what a hey. yeah. I like that little joke. <laughs> <laughs> Call him up. <laughs> yeah, he's a long ways away. Dr. Paul. 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 Yeah. Right now, yeah. just watching the freak out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he um, watching them. And they don't care. I mean, they just didn't know. Yeah, uh, I, I was going to say track and splatter. They don't really they don't, mm. they don't deal with stuff like that. But I know West Lebanon feeds and splatter. We have names and numbers because their business cards are all over the wall. 
calls. Right. Yes, yeah. So, then he's, you talk to him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. All right. So that's Thank you. But other than that, if we can't find somebody, then we're going to have to. It's just going to be on Bonnie. Yeah. It's too bad we couldn't just give them to themselves if we had to. Yeah, <laughs> give them a stock. It wouldn't bother me any. I'm having to stick themselves. That would be dumb. <laughs> have one of the EMTs do it. Right. There you go. <laughs> right. If you could get the vaccinations, I mean, if the rabies act, it's not. In Michigan, you could. Yeah. 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 It's, I mean, the, the vaccination itself is just under the skin. It's not a big deal. Right. So. Yeah. I don't know, but okay. All right. The, uh, the donations for the, you know, all the kitchen will mm -hmm. start coming in in April. Okay. I don't know what's going to be the uh, first pieces that we start, but uh, she has told me that uh, we're getting it all. Okay. So, so there may be pieces of... Uh, Are they delivering? <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> so no we got to go there and pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Right. No big deal. Yeah. Bring a couple of trailers down there. Well, exactly for what we're getting. Uh, yeah, we can't can't take a bite the uh, yeah. hand that feeds you. Yeah. What did you so, say, Mark? Mark? April. April. We're having a whole bunch of stuff donated from uh, yeah. the commercial refrigerator, there. freezer, grills, yeah. Yeah, everything. Very this nice. Yeah. Huh? yeah. You got the means to move that okay good? Yep. He's got a. I got a cab trailer. Uh, I got a smaller trailer. trailer so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But uh, nice. yeah, they're redoing a the kitchen. Yeah, um, at the facility, so two, so. $2 million dollar kitchen they're redoing, mm -hmm. and Something. we're getting all their appliances that are all A1. Uh, she said that uh, they don't work, she's not giving them to us. And, okay. uh, so that's pretty Sweet. good. So that'll, that'll be nice. <coughs> Find a home for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're at the, they're at our house. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because they get. Oh, let's have a look. I'm just here smiling. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, was it $100? $100? Yeah. 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 Couldn't pass it up. Yeah. Right. <coughs> yeah, we got the, uh, the bleachers. aluminum bleachers from them. Which will be going down in the yeah. uh, ball field. Ball yeah. field. Okay. This stuff we all already have, just can't put down the field yet. Uh, yeah. You'll find a place to situate that so you can get around it to it more. Yeah. Because that's not going to be something you got to move. Right. Yeah. It's, it's about the same size as what Muscoma has, I bet. Is it? Yeah. What they have up by the soccer field. I guess so, yeah. yeah so. I think it's like four. Uh, yeah, four tiers. And yeah. Probably. You know, two dozen people sitting on it if you really want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we had the metal. We didn't, they didn't charge no. for that. No. That's at the house. That's, that's already over there? Yep. Okay. That's down, it's down the bottom of the thing. We yeah, because yeah, that place sold quick. Yeah. Well, it's so. Yeah. Hopefully it's all settled tomorrow. Oh. Uh, there's been uh, somebody that's got a very small portion. It's, it's been uh, interested with them uh. fighting the uh, the major investors. Uh, Always a snare. Yeah. So come April or when we start getting all this stuff in, so it's the ground files up. Right. So, uh, we still have all the, after we get the, the well in, tidying up that area and then getting rid of the room and seating it. So, yeah. that's still going to be done. We have uh, two signs being painted for down on the uh, brick field. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, say, uh, Braley, Thorson, uh, Rickfield. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that uh, took and donated the land. And mm -hmm. To the town. Yeah. To the town. Yeah. And then uh, the second one will be one that goes on the uh, cook shack. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, somebody said that that should say uh, the uh, food pavilion. Okay. Yeah. That's been uh, the paintings being done by uh, Sandy Griffiths. Okay. Uh, she's doing the painting. Uh, Russell and his father uh, donated the uh, logs for her. Mm -hmm. They're already up in the pole barn. They've been drying for quite a while yeah. now. Okay. Uh, right. So this is just a just a it's a slab painted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not a grave or anything like that. So. No. Okay. That'd be nice. What'd you say his name was? Sandy Griffiths. Trying to work on the Fourth of July. It's actually it's a ways away, but right. No, but, that's okay. Because uh, I already got July the night. animals coming. <laughs> because yeah. last time they Did didn't. Get the animal show. Or yeah, the oh, animal yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I went for a little higher. A little higher. Yeah, different class of yeah, animals. Yeah, we got the same yeah. thing. So it was a little bit more money. It's, it's probably one of the most enjoyable part of a lot of people come in. Yeah, a lot of people enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, they do. So, uh, we got some, yeah, we, yeah, we got this is July. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is February. Yeah. yeah. But Fine. that's one of them. I, I got okay. that one because I know what happened last time. We're, we're trying just to keep a jump on it so that mm -hmm. we can try to see if we can find different things to uh, add yeah. to, to mm -hmm. it. So you can put July night down for your Please be never to say. And who is this? Uh, what were you looking at? And I'm going to go in and oh, check uh, it. The fire? Yeah, you know? fish and game. They came down with a van one year. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I discovered uh, today that they uh, have uh, different kits that they put out mm -hmm. that you can take and borrow to set up uh, a, a fur table. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. uh, show uh, different antlers, moose antlers, deer antlers. Uh, oh, that would be nice. Yeah. That'd be, that, would mm -hmm. be, uh, that would be real cool. Yeah. Okay. So we, you borrow that? Yeah. Free of charge. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. You have a uh, two week uh, usage of it. Uh, you oh, just okay. have to uh, reserve it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we also saw that they also do uh, set up booths, so we're going to uh, inquire about uh, what booths they would set up mm -hmm. just to try to bring uh, new stuff mm -hmm. onto the field. Okay. Yep. If we, so if we get this for two weeks, or if the library wants to use it, they may mention it, I would say mention it to them. Yeah. They want to do a, a display or something if somebody doesn't make the Make or arrange anything with uh, Jason uh, as far as the band? No, Did I haven't said anything to him. Okay. Uh, the normal we say you come next year. Or, you know, right. And, uh, you know, they were going, they were going through a change. One of the guys was leaving or something in the band. I know there was a few people that were moving around a little bit. So. Right. And uh, Leaf talks, works with one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they've been jabbing at each other still. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, just talk to Leaf. Right. But I, I see Jason there now and then. Yeah. Probably the same. Yeah. As we've, we've had. Yeah. So, um, I don't think we need to get anybody new, but put it by ear. I'd like to find some people to come and help uh, do kids' games. Yeah. yeah, we tried that in the past. Caitlin tried it, and somebody else was doing it too. Right. It varies depending on how many kids are there. Right. Right after the animal show, or right before it, right, they're yeah, gone. So, yeah. As soon as the parade happens, the animal show happens. Basically, well, that's it. Yeah, we need somebody. Yeah. Yeah. 
helped do the parade mm -hmm. too. Yep. So it's something to keep in mind. Yeah. We're going right. to need somebody yeah. if we're going to have it that the parade. Right. Yeah. Because they did it last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last. Yeah. So. I have to put sign up. Yeah. Posting around a few. Right. Yeah. Put something up on the town website for volunteers mm -hmm. for parking. Right. The parades just all around for the 5th of July. Yeah. Independence Day celebration for volunteers to help out, contact us. You know, right. Yeah. Anything you can do, let us know. Yeah. Because I mean that would be it'd be great to get some people involved in it a little more. Just right. two of us, yeah. three of us. You've talked to what's his name a couple of times. The one that comes out and does the fireworks, yeah. What's his name? I forget, but yeah, he got, he's yeah. called. He, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's due to be calling uh, any time now. Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay. John. Yes, John. That's his name. All right. Yeah. Have we contacted the fireworks people yet? That's John. Well, that's, that is John. He's already been in touch with oh, us. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, he's already booking his, yeah. his plans. Ours is, he knows what ours is. So right. It's pretty much the same time. Um, what else we have? So we've decided. I don't. I. I I'm to the point right now. I don't think we're going to do the lights down the length. I think we we discussed it briefly down at the uh, the pavilion, if you will. Um, we get the two lights outside the serving entrance. We we're going to do lights, three sets. All oh, right. Going yeah. down. I don't think there's any need. Yeah, no, because at the scene and just that one set up, it really lit it up. It lit it up enough that you could you know, right. where the function was. People, because people aren't really there during during dark, you know. If they have something at nighttime, we could rig, you know, mm -hmm. just tell them rig some Christmas lights or something like that. Right. We could put outlets. I would probably put outlets, you know, down the far end or someplace that's convenient so they can do that. Yeah. Serving area, right? Maybe something down the far end of the ceiling that yeah. they can reach up and plug in. That may have been handy too. So, <coughs> right. Because I mean, if they do have a party there and it is in the evenings, it will get dark. But this way, they at least put something up to, to light it up. Right. But I don't see the point of putting fluorescents no. all the way down. It's just going to no. be something that's going to be repaired and re you know, be a fair hassle. Well, so, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move that. We have spares that we were going to use. Those right. spares can be used for yeah, places right. the one we already need in the kitchen. Yeah. So, okay. so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of put that to the side. So. Yeah. I took that can of poly back. So Did you? Uh, okay. that we have uh, the credit for that to, uh, for the paint for the uh, building. Mm -hmm. So that's all set. Okay. We are going to have to seal the ceiling eventually. Right. But that's, I think that's uh, an afternoon spring. Right. I don't yeah. think that's going to be a big deal. No, no. Because uh, we could probably do that. Just, you know, I don't even. I wouldn't even worry about overspraying the sun. It's dry before it even hits the ground. Right. So yeah. Come down with a compressor and just zip it real quick. Yeah. Um, it shouldn't take any time at all. Just to put another coating, seal coating on. It. Right. Because it does need it. Yeah. Um, you can physically see where it's got a sheen and then it stops. Right. And it's a sheen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's just the way the boards are done. So. Yeah. So painting that, would you do it before or after we try to get the grass in? You want to do it first in spring? Yeah. Do you think it's dry enough? One, yeah, the wood will be dry enough. Because yeah. it's been sitting. Yeah. It sat most of the summer. Yeah, yeah all summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's back in, from yeah, depending on what we get for rain. Right. You want to make sure it's dry along because it's got a lot of drip from the spatter on the ground, we gotta right. brush all that off. Right. So that would be something. Maybe it is something we wait until the grass is already in. Yeah. Because then if it does, it's the rain is gonna spatter all over it again and get it wet. So that's something that's another thing we gotta do. Look at, look at any 
was for grass in the too. Yeah. You know, a good size bag of that. I think half of one side. Right. Tape it off. Let okay. that come up. And do the other side. Right. So, which means it's double the work, but but because you're spreading room on one side, you don't even want to touch the other side until that's up and run. Right. But it prevents people from walking across it and destroying it. Unless you can keep it chained off for two weeks. Yeah, which is going to be kind of hard to do right. in the summertime. Yeah. So, play it by ear. But I mean, it's um, the other thing too is watering. You know, depending on the well capacity. I think I don't think we'll have any problem. No, with the there won't be no problem with the water. Yeah. So, set it up on a. I can turn it on in the morning and when I need for work. And I don't know if you're later or earlier than me. But one way, either way. Right. You can set it up a couple times during the day. Yeah. Right. Anything else you can think of? No more pets. Quite a bit. It's got a full plate. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of work to do. Yeah. So. Um, but I think it's, it'll be it'll go pretty good. Yeah. We'll, we'll contact the fish and games mm -hmm. and try to set up something there. Yep. So. But yeah, the the. Uh, <laughs> The fact of getting a vet, I think that's going to be an issue. Yeah, that's that it. Be, I don't know what to do at that point. So. I don't know. Which. Yeah, I didn't realize that the value was being, you know, wasn't available. But the fact that they didn't call or anything else is kind of, or they didn't even, you know, give us the time of day after they did it the last time. Yeah. So, It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, kind of a binder of time because a lot of people rely on that. It's way exactly. It's yeah. the way of getting the dogs registered, you know, in the town. Yep. Yeah. you get basically you register your dog and you get free rabies vaccination. So, yeah. Which is like two birds with one stone. Yep. But now they probably won't register or get the rabies vaccination. It, exactly. So it just becomes a big hassle mm -hmm. of everybody all the way around. Yep. Yeah. We had it done last yeah. year, but what the raise that? Yeah. <laughs> well, they go two, two years. years. Yeah. Yeah, mine was just done too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So they don't have to think about it. But yeah, you, you know everybody. Oh, the, the portable toilets. Uh, the new ones. I thought that we should take them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, rent them out. Yeah. It'd be an extra income to. Yep. The, the There's an idea. Yeah. I mean, what do you think is fair? Because you know, you know what they charge for them per day. They get one hundred and fifty dollars a day for one, yeah. Yeah. and I mean, if we got a hundred dollars, it's going to cost us twenty-eight dollars just to have it uh, pumped and cleaned and everything. So we can make close to seventy-five dollars yeah. each time. Well, put the, you can put the yeah, if it's twenty-eight dollars for the fee for pumping it, add that to the cost. You know. It's well, no, I, I, plus the pumping. You know? Well, I figure a hundred dollars. Take twenty eight dollars off it because you're seventy two dollar profit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, yeah. If somebody wants it, would you give somebody a break if they want it more than a day? Yeah, a weekend or a yeah. week. You know. Yeah. So there's an there's a there's an idea too. Yeah. So because it's still going to be twenty eight dollars, you just make a profit per day. So okay. Right. right. Yeah. That'll work. And we'll transport to and from. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would be. Huh? <laughs> You're easy, man. Right? You're, you're smiling. You're tripping. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to transport? To yeah. From? Yeah. New business venture for you. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. I'm just looking at the uh, way to make easy money for the uh, rec department. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. 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 What porta potties are these? What's that? What porta potties yes. are these? Yeah. Uh, we. Uh, just like we had Slab City Passports. Yeah. I got that. That's what I was wondering if Slab yes. City had donated those. That's awesome. Bob's. No, well, those are Bob's. They started out as Bob Halls. Oh, right. oh, yeah? And yeah. we gave them a really good deal on them. And Much they better come back full today. circle, so it's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're kind of so. sick of. Oh, kind of cool that they made it there. I think that's yeah, great. I think yeah. it's great that they've donated them because yeah. we gave them a really good Pretty yeah. much gave them to them, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Yeah. 
and we, if it had been a couple of years ago, we would have needed them. Right, yeah, would have before we went down the slab down there, because we were in, yeah. we ended up having to buy the ones we had. Yeah, I know, yeah, we did. Yep. The ones that are out there now. I gotta look into lagging those down again. Well, what do you yeah. remember what it cost us for that? We used, pay, we used yeah. to pay. We used to pay the handicap one. one every yeah, year. we had to pay was, that once. He, that yes, amount that of time. Yes, that was two hundred and fifty dollars uh, a yeah. week. Yeah, and they used to come and they would as soon as you they would scoop it they, right up and they go. They were they were there that night, yeah. the night of the fireworks. Yeah. the truck would show up, he'd pump it out while it, you know, yep. as soon as the parking lot was clear, we'd be in the and gone. And he'd yeah. be like driving by with the. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Yeah. You didn't waste any time taking that out of here. Um, but yeah, I do have to secure those. I put the I put the those cheap lags in. I'm yeah. Permanently epoxy lag those in. They held up in the wind. I'm not. I'm actually very pleased with that. Yeah. I didn't have any blowovers? <laughs> After the last time, no, I don't want to do that again. And then we got uh, a new one to put down on the beach, on the beach mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, donated uh, by my neighbor. Yep. Yeah, there we go. We need to put a slab down. No, there's already a slab there. Is there somebody put a slab in? Yeah. That okay. one that's down there has already been bolted. Okay. Because the last time, when did they put that? Who, who put that in? That, yeah, that's been there for a couple of years now. It was just never bolted down? This we got called, what, a year and a half ago that somebody threw it in the, in the water? That, that, yes, but after that, uh, we put a slab in. Okay. And then uh, bolted now that one bolted down. down. All right. Uh, so as long as you got something to way of securing. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Because I thought that was something we needed to do. What else were they, what was the thing about the beach? Uh, the picnic table. The, picnic uh, table. the, the, uh, the, the raft, raft there. We need to, we need to yeah. make a kind of wait, a wait for that. What is, what is she tying it off to now? There's an anchor down to it. And she I think dove it, down. She said something about the rope was broken. Or I think it, uh, up underneath the middle of the raft. Uh, that's where she atta it attached. That's where it got. Uh, okay. So I was going to put D-rings and make two weights that will hold the raft in one position, no matter which way yeah. it moves, it will go this way, but it won't spin around, because right, right now it can spin around. Yeah. And then we have the old one there that we want to uh, take and advertise and sell it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that go right into our fun. Okay. Uh, Somebody in the lake may even want it. Yeah. Some, uh, we have to replace the run the ladder too. Yeah. So, a lot of little stuff. When do we normally put that in the water? Not until June? Water, uh, May. As soon as you want to go swimming. Right, <laughs> exactly. Well, the thing being is they've been going down, cutting the hole, and then she, and, uh, going swimming. I was like, you're nuts. The woman ready to go down. Yeah, yeah. that's her. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> Me either. Is it what? What is? Is it her and somebody else? Yep. There's uh, been mm -hmm. three of them. Mm -hmm. No doing, kidding. Yes. Yep. A bunch of penguins. Wow. You'd be lucky if you got me to put my big toe no. in it. And that'd be it. <laughs> no. It's supposed no. to be really good for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I see my heart stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. one of those pink. What are they? Penguin ones. Yeah. Do yeah. Yeah. March. Yeah. Yeah, they've already been well, doing the polar, the polar plunge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Good for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can make some weights. Maybe we should take and list them for uh, Grafton's annual uh, polar plunge. <laughs> yeah. Get some other takers. Um, Maybe on to another whole nother event. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Winter festival. Yeah. Winter festival. <laughs> Good God. Um, well, do we need to change anything as far as the raft goes? I mean, I think the shackle needs to be. We need to right. redo the I shackle. I think just look at and see what. Yeah. I, I was going to buy just a D, couple of D rings and buy some um, helicoil inserts, yeah. which basically thread into the plastic and allow you to bolt into the lab. They're very strong. And basically put a D ring on either side and then we can just chain that to a weight on the bottom. Yeah. It'd be easy enough that if she could dive down and literally attach a clip to it and a rope and 
or something that's up on the rack, you can pull the whole weight right up. So you can basically just push the rack out where you want it, drop both weights off the side, and you're done. Then you don't have to look for the weight, you don't have to look for the float. You know, because right now, the only way she knows where that lead is, is I guess there's a bottle over there. Right. But sometimes that bottle gets crushed by the ice and disappears, what she said. Then you have to dive down and go try to find mm. the, the weight that's on the bottle. Right, but the problem with that, they put a uh, weight down there that uh, nobody can take and pick up because that's what they were doing before, was picking the weight up and moving the raft all around. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we need to basically have some way of securing it. Right. To the, to the weights. Okay. Yeah, not knowing what they've got down there. Right. I mean, we could just do a single tie-off to it, but it would cause the raft, the raft could basically swim around. It's yeah. not that big a deal. Right. But the plastic on that thing is not very strong, so that's what I was thinking about putting a, a D ring on there so that it's got a very, very secure way of getting it on there. And if you use a a, um, a clevis, the way, same thing we use on the swing sets, yeah. you have to have a, a, a torx, right. torx wrench to basically undo it. The kids aren't going to have a torx wrench for them. Right. If you tighten it up tight enough, it's, they're not going to get it off. It's basically just security. Right. Us. Yeah. Know, it's just a matter of taking that off and then she can basically attach a bottle to it and push the raft off. So I think that will work. Yeah. Okay. So I'll look at the hardware for that. Um, yeah, that's easy. That's but that's spring time. So yeah. just gonna remind myself. Yeah. Alright. That's the beach for us. Yeah. Tables are going to do the wood on the ones right. we need to do. Did we buy wood last year? Or did no, we, we haven't got the wood yet. So we've got the frames and we just, yeah. just need the wood. I think our prices come down too. Right. Good thing we didn't get it. Right. So then we should be okay as far as picking tables goes. What do you want to do with the old ones? Uh, I just got to uh, see, get permission from the select board to do whatever we want with them. And mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, if anything, they go to the dump or right, but burn yeah, out or something. Thing being, it's gotta get that yeah. the yeah, because I mean, there's so many nails and it's like loose boards and right. Yeah, they're, they're falling apart now. So if somebody wanted to fix one up, I'd say yeah, but no. right, they're but, pretty rough. Yeah. So um, yeah, so we gotta we gotta be able to move those. So time being to get them off the field of well, they should be they should be able to tell us. Right. I don't know if they want all that stuff at the dump. That's going to be quite a bit of construction right, they, uh, if they throw it in. The somebody might want to come down and grab them and then uh, repair them themselves. And yeah, I mean, if you put an OS out to right. have big tables, you know, at the end of the turnaround, at the end of the road, right. we can bring them down there or just line them up along the side of the road. Yeah. And they can come again if they want. And what's left after a week? Right. Okay. Mention that to the select button. Yeah. Can make, they can make the decision as to what to do. We don't want right. to get them off the grass, so we can no, right. just get them out of the way. Right. Because they're going to be in your way for one, they're going to be in our way for trying right. to get the grass grown there. Yeah. Stuff like that. So I don't see the need for them. So. Yeah. We have, is there one still down at the bus? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, if we want to leave one, do we want to leave that down there? I mean, okay. the, Fireworks well, guys use it. One, you know, that's fallen and yeah. I, I haven't been out there to see. This, I, I, this, the hot truck's kind of getting <coughs> overgrown, but it's not, you know, it's right. not bad. No, it's not. I mean, I we mean, didn't even clean up after the fireworks, and there's really nothing out there. No, the paper is all disintegrated. So right. There's a few plastic caps up there, and that's about it. But I went out, checked it out, and it was like amazing. Was, well, nothing's left. Yeah. The paper literally disintegrates. So. Actually, quite quite impressed about that. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I don't know if we need to put one out there or not. It's something we're gonna have to deal with later. If we get permission just to get rid of them, we might as well just get rid of them. Yeah. So, get rid of all the ones we don't need. Replace the two that are underneath the pavilion and run down to the park. Yeah, and that would be big. And yeah. We're done. Yeah. And we're, there's no more expenses as far as that goes. Right. You don't need to buy any more. So all the money we normally spend on that. Spend on the pump, right? For the, uh, for the wall. Yep. Okay. Make that work. All right. What's the next meeting? Yeah.
April 12th, 12th. because uh, March is uh, our regular meeting is uh, during elections, so yeah. Yeah. let's just put it off until uh, yeah. Yeah. April 12th. That's the other thing. Yeah. This coming Saturday, uh, we, we'll be doing the water and the coffee. Yeah. Is it this weekend? Yeah, no? this coming uh, Saturday. Okay. Where are they doing that? Over at the fire station. Oh, next one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, hmm. Do water, coffee, and you doing anything? Uh, yes. We did the last time. I really saw anything. I, I wouldn't get a lot. Yeah. Get a dozen donuts. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that'd be a smart way of doing it. Because, yeah, we ended up taking most of it home. Right. People yeah. brought stuff in, too. Did Carissa make some stuff? Yeah. I think she, she might have. She, yeah. may have just, she made something. Yeah. But barely anything got sold. They would go fast. I mean, right. yeah. gone the days when we were there for 20 hours and cooking dinner. Right. So. Yeah, I think it's you know, just more coffee. And just yeah. Makes sense that most people are just there to get right. the information. You know? Yeah. Okay. I just like water, coffee. Okay. Time you want to be there? Won't be there eight. Uh, it's uh, no, time's eight start. thirty. It starts at eight nine. It starts at uh, ten. ten. Oh, ten. It starts at ten, but uh, if you don't have the coffee ready, then people aren't gonna. Coffee only takes ten minutes. Yeah. So. Quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Page, and up, page and a half, and I was good. Yeah. Good job, Pam. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Seven. Oh. Six forty-five. Six forty-five. You all done? Yep. Yeah. Oh.